Hello friends, in this video we will see memory monitoring to check how much RAM is occupied, how much RAM is free in the computer, how much memory is occupied, primary memory, the primary memory is the RAM, how much primary memory is occupied, how much is free, we, ha we have to use the command line tool that is free. If you say free and press enter, it will give you the amount of RAM in the computer, it's the total amount of RAM, it is used amount of RAM, it's this is the free amount of RAM. So if you want it in MB or I, I'll show you this command. If you say free minus help, double hyphen help, you get many options here. If you want in bytes, you can use B. If you want in kilobytes, you can use K. If you want in megabytes, you can use M. If you have it in gigabytes, you can use G. I will use a clear command to clear the screen. I'll say free minus m to check the memory size in megabytes. You can see the total amount of RAM is 749 MB. The used is 539 and the free is 209. You can also see the swap memory is 1471. So 1471 is the swap memory which we have uh, created in the machine while installation. So this way we can use minus m minus k for kilobytes which is a default option minus b as a bytes so we can also monitor uh, the ram during the execution of some program or if you want to test some software if you are instra uh, uh, running some software and you want to check what is the situation in the ram right now what how much ram is free how much ram is being occupied when you are using that software you can use free minus yes and you can give a number of seconds the uh, dis uh, to display the amount of uh, fee and uh, uh, used ram you can say you can give 3 seconds or 4 seconds i'll give 4 seconds and press enter so every 4 seconds it will give you the status of the ram how much is occupied how much is available how much is the total ram and what is the swap you can also I, i'll do control c to stop this you can see every four seconds it gives you the information i'll give control c to exit out of it i'll clear the screen this time i'll say free minus s minus a uh, four seconds and minus m option i want it in megabytes so i can give it here minus m and press enter you can see uh, it, every 4 seconds it gives you information in terms of megabytes. So this way we can uh, check the RAM, uh, the performance of a software, how much RAM it is it occupying, how much uh, more RAM is required for that software. So I'll do control C to quit out of this uh, command. I'll clear the screen again. So this way we can a check what is the status of RAM. I'll give minus M. You can see the swap memory is 1471 right now. So if I require more amount of swap memory, so what should I do? So we cannot alter the partitions now. So what we can do is we can create a swap file. So which will act as a swap memory. So we can create a swap file using a command dd you can say dd and you have to give an input file name so that would be a if input file is equal to slash dev slash zero so this is not a real device it's actually a dummy device which will write 0 into a file. So we'll use this as an input file and we'll use output file is equal to of is equal to slash. We'll create under swap. So we cannot create this because we are not a, rat, a root user right now. So we should be a root user for this. So what I'll do, I'll do control C. Will uh, When you do control C, this command will not be executed. I'll do control C. And first we we'll log in as a super user or the root user. I'll give password. So 
So once we log in as a super user, we can use the same command here. So I'll select this command here and I'll paste the same command. So ddif is equal to slash dev slash zero. Output file is equal to swap file. So after this, we have to give block size. So each block size will be usually 1024 bytes. And we have to give count. I'll tell you what exactly this count is. So I'll give count is equal to, if I say 1024, so this is 1024 bytes into 1024. That is 1 KB into 1 KB will give you 1 MB of a swap file. But we want more if you want 256 MB. So you have to give the exact value. 262154 would be the exact value. So 2154 into 1024 will give you 256 MB of RAM. You can see earlier the swap space is 1471 MB. So we will say enter. So it will create a file. Because it says records in records out. So after that we have to say make swap. We need to create a swap file using make swap command. Make swap and the swap file. And press enter. So you can see it creates a setting. It sets up the swap space. Now you can turn on the, you have to swap, turn on the swap space. You have to say swap on slash swap file and press enter. If you don't do this, the swap will not be active. So after this, we do a free command. I'll increase the size of this window. Okay, if I say free minus M, now you can see the swap uh, space increased to 1728. So earlier it was 1471, now it's 1728. If I do swap off and press enter, so if you do the free command again, you'll get, you can see 1471, it goes back to the previous value. So if you want to turn on the swap file, you have to say swap on swap file. And if you say free minus M, you can see that the swap space increased. This way we can increase the swap memory in our computer. So we can also monitor this, uh, monitor the RAM from graphical user interface. We can go to kickoff application launcher. We can type here uh, monitor or system monitor. This is system monitor. You can click on system monitor. So we'll see this later process. We'll go to load system load here. So here you can see swap, memory and swap. So it'll give you information about the memory and swap. So if you uh, move your mouse pointer on this, it says what is the memory size, what is the RAM uh, uh, occupied, what is the swap memory. So swap memory is 0 bytes. You can see it's a green in color and pink color is the memory out of 0.27 GB. Uh, out of 0.73 GB, 0.27 GB, that is 270 plus MB of RAM is been occupied. You can see 278, 720s. So around 270 uh, MB is been occupied here. So this way we can check using graphical user interface. You can also see the CPU uh, usage, how much has been used here. So network activity is not currently, you cannot see this network activity. So this way we can uh, see using uh, graphical user interface. So we'll see the process table later in the, uh, in one more video where we talk about processes in Linux. So we also see, uh, we can also check the uh, folder size uh, by using a command called du. If I want to check the folder size of home folder, my home folder, the, that is, if I say cd and press enter, so it will directly, it will be in the, if you are in any folder, for example, if you are in cd slash etc, okay, if you say cd, it will go back to your uh, home folder, okay, so if you do pwd, you will come to know that you are in a home folder, I will clear the screen, I will do du minus h, you can see it shows 84 MB is occupied by the home folder, by the 
folder slash home slash mac. The mac directory is occupying 84 MB of space. I'll clear the screen. I can say d u minus s c h. So in this, it will give you only the total of the complete space. You can also check the other folders, but you need to have a permission on that folder. We'll do temp because everyone has permission on that file. So we'll say temp. So you can see 72 kilobytes been occupied by the slash temp directory. So some, you can see one file is the permission denied. So it will not allow you to check the size of that file. So we'll see in the current directory, we have some uh, folders. If you want to check the size of any folder, download folder, you can say du minus sch and give the folder name and press enter. You can see it, it says 4 kilobytes is occupied. You can say control W, uh, control W to delete one word. Okay. I'll say now I want to check the size of this script file hello.sh. You can see it says 4 KB. So this way we can check the size of a file of any file in the computer. You can say du minus sch of slash swap file. You can see the swap file is 257 MB. You can see 257 MB of file. So which we have created uh, previously. We created a swap file. You can check the size of the file using du minus sch command. So if you want to check the all the users, you can use a script to check that. You can also see what are the, the file systems mounted currently. I'll uh, clear the screen. You can use a mount command to check what are the file system that has been mounted right now. So what we'll do is we'll uh, concentrate on only one thing here. ext4 you can see slash boot. You can say df df minus h will give you the mounted partition size. You can see slash dv slash sda1, the serial device or the SATA hard disk is 480, 485 MB is mounted on boot. And this directory you can see it's been mounted on a 6 GB partition. Okay, this, uh, don't worry about this. Uh, this will be done when you install, uh, if you have given uh, automatically install uh, the guide partition the Linux takes some uh, uh, volume group don't worry about this so you can see this is a partition of 6 GB and one partition of 375 M and one partition of size uh, 485 MB so this way you can check the size of each partition in the computer and you can also mount different uh, folders on it for example if you want to have a partition for example slash dv sda2 you can ca uh, mount complete home directory slash home here and you can uh, keep on saving files on a different partition in your computer so even if you form format one partition the part other partition will be available depending on which uh, partition it will be for example if slash home you can if you partition uh, may um, format that partition the slash home will be gone and all other folders will be available in the slash is the main uh, partition Friends, in this video we learnt about uh, how to check the free RAM and how to create a swap file if you want to increase the swap memory in your computer, how to create a swap file and how to check the size of a file. So if you want more options of any command, uh, if you, you can go to any man page and say du command, if you want to check the du command man page, you can go to man page, so it's is estimates the file space user. You can see it will give you the complete information about uh, uh, the du command. You, there are many options in this. You can scroll those, uh, scroll through the options and try out all the options. You will get df command. Any command you want, any information, you can use the man pages. So we will see more in upcoming videos. Thank you for watching this video.